Sorry, my bad. I accidentally skipped the opening movie, so let's watch it again. My bad. Sorry. But yeah. You know, it's not a chapter start if there isn't a dream sequence. What? That did not sound like wolves at all. It sounds like someone with a horn and... Oh god, this is hurting my ears! Yes! Hunt her down and kill her! What, what is she wearing? What? What is that? That is the weirdest cloak I've ever seen! I want one. I want one bad. What is it? Good God! Yeah, I know, Grace, that the noise is hurting me as well. Ooh! That doesn't look fake at all! It looks incredibly fake. The wolves! The wolves are coming! Help me, sir! <gasps> Who is it? Oh, hello! It is a full moon. Alright, so, now that that's done... Whoa, sorry. Uh, time to go to the library. Should read up about Ludwig. Which, no doubt, that was in our dream. Ludwig. Duh. What books can you find today? I wish I could read these biographies of Ludwig. Wait Wait that, that one that's in English right there. Ludwig the Second, fairy tale king of Bavaria. I didn't see this before. Yep, English. <laughs> I love English. You both really gotta learn your German. There's nothing else on werewolves in Whatever. I'm not sure what other case books would Whatever! Nothing else I can Fine. Good lord. Where'd that book go? Here it is. Hmm. So Richmond Chapel. Ludwig remained Chapel. throughout his life both very bright and very naive. Hmm. He was an introvert who seemed to be constantly out of sync with traditional views of rulership, money, and human relationships. The world ever failed to match his ideals. Aww. Perhaps this was a fault of his sheltered upbringing as future king. He never was introduced to the real world, and the real world failed to interest him as an adult. In his youth, Ludwig was in fine physical condition and loved to hike alone in the Alps and ride horses. He had a hunting lodge, Shahen, specifically for this purpose. Hmm. Unfortunately, in 1872, a rather traumatic hunting accident befell the king at Shahen, and his leg was cruelly damaged. He never fully recovered from this incident, and his hiking and riding ceased. His physical health deteriorated from that time on and explains why he looked so unhealthy in later years. Werewolf. A hunting accident? Werewolf. Other than his long-standing friendship with the Empress Elizabeth of Austria and with his mother, the relationships Ludwig attempted with others were nearly always a disappointment for him and a bewilderment for his partners. He would become obsessed with someone, a singer, an artist, a nobleman or a peasant, and would bombard them with gifts, praise, and favors. When they would fail to return the depths of rapturous passion he required, the singular adoration and humble obedience he expected, he would grow disappointed and cut himself off from them. The objects of his interest were occasionally women, usually ones he fell in love with after seeing them in idealized roles on the stage, 
but they were more often young men who fit as fantasies of the heroic sagas like Lohengrin and Parsifal that he so loved. Interesting. A good example of the king's obsessive behavior in relationships is the following letter from the Kerninglik Beirish archives, which this author was privileged to access. It is dated 1864, and it was written by Ludwig's manservant, Paul, to a friend. The king has been in high mood these days. The reason, of course, is a new interest. Thursday last, the king attended a performance of Lohengrin in the Wittelsbacher Theater. He came back in a fever, demanding that a man be found. The man, it was gathered, had been sitting in a box across from Ludwig and had drawn the king's attention by his beauty and his deep emotional response to the performance. The king declared that here at last is a sensitive soul. The man was tracked down and brought in for an audience. Upon my word, never have I seen any mind so in line with his majesty's own. They discussed Wagner and France and Byron and all manner of things until long past dawn. The young man, beautiful indeed to look upon, met the king's enthusiasm and knowledge bit for bit. His majesty has been in the thick of it ever since, and while I welcome his good temper, I grow tired of fetching letters back and forth to Louis, so called by his majesty, that should tell you who the young man looks like, at all hours of the night. This author has not been able to learn much about Louis, but he was known to have been a seemingly high-bred foreigner, and he was involved with Ludwig as late as 1880, when he fell into disfavor. Because he made him into a werewolf, I don't know, probably, maybe. Yes. The king, especially later in life, felt a great deal of guilt about his sensual nature. His diaries are full of repent entries begging God for forgiveness and swearing to remain pure. In many of the diary entries, he swears to abstain from sexual relations. The number of these oath entries indicate that Ludwig was not very successful in oh. resisting temptation, yet it is also clear that Ludwig was a God-fearing man and that, though his flesh might occasionally fall, he never surrendered his heart and his conscience to sin. Oh. All right, so now we've read that. Let's go downstairs. That good is gonna be there in a bad mood or not. She's not. Let's go to the village. And we're gonna go get ourselves another letter that breaks the time stream because uh because well quite frankly she's gonna receive a letter that Gabriel sends later today. Unless, of course, we are thinking that perhaps this is the next day and the next next time that we see Gabriel will be the same day that this is. If that makes any sense. This game really does not make sense if you look at it in terms of what happens on what day. But, you know. See, these things do happen. There's no one there. Oh, well, ring the bell, woman! Don't complain to me. Guten Tag. Grüß Gott, Frau Nakimura. Ich habe etwas für Sie. Oh, it's from Gabriel. Ja, das ist vom Schattenjäger. Ja. <laughs> yeah, no, this I, I is from you... Schattenjäger. Or oh, whatever. Uh, Gabriel is a working partner in... Yeah, yeah, you, 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 he wants Never to sink mind. your bone. <laughs> Danke. Bitte, brauchen Sie noch etwas? I do not speak English. I have no idea what you just blabbered on about. Danke. Bitte. Alright, let's read this letter. Grace Nakamura. Kara Slash Ritter. Ritter's work? What? It looks like Riddersweg or something. Riddersweg 2064. Gracie, you decided to come over. That's great. Good and tag and all that. I'm sure you and Gertie are hitting it off. No. Thanks for finding the werewolf book. 
I'm not sure what it all means, but it might be useful. But Ludwig II, you know, I think you might have something there. Ubergrau says there are two places you should check out. Ludwig had a castle called New Swan something, and there's a museum yeah, about him at here in God. chemistry. Oh, something good like that. God! I really think you should spend some time looking into it. Gabriel, you should at least learn how, what these words are. Good God. Don't worry. Things are going very smoothly this time around. I've tracked a suspect to a hunt club run by a man named Von Glauer. He seems okay, but I'm sure there's something going on with at least one of the others. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I met a police detective named Lever, so I have backup. He doesn't like you! Soon. Sit tight and enjoy your visit till I get there. He doesn't yeah. like you! Does he think I'm on vacation here? Yeah. And no address. Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. Oh, well. We're gonna cut the episode here, so bye-bye.